Good morning to you. This week, we have full frontal politics. We have chargers without a charge and not so golden globes. Are you ready? Let's get brutal. Welcome, everybody, to the front line of frustration. I'm Carlos B. Rich. Let's meet the victims. Scott Brown, Republican, politician, former male model. That's an awfully liberal pose for a conservative. Philip Rivers and the San Diego Chargers. Seriously, guys, what the fuck happened? Avatar and The Hangover win Best Pictures at the Golden Globes. What? I will lay down my vengeance upon these and much more right after the break. Thirty winters ago, the war tore a hole in the sky. Only a few survived. Our only hope is in my hands. We need to get the ball back. You won't get it back. <laughs> Cursed be the ground for our sake. For out of the ground we were taken, and to the dust we shall return. I told you you weren't going to get that back. This little town, just beginning. All we need is that book. It's different than the others. You're not going to be able to make him do what you want him to do. This is your last chance. Give it up or I swear I'll bury you. Nobody touches it but me, you understand me? I love this guy. Shoot him, please. Teach me. Put a crew together, we're going after him. We'll go back inside. <laughs> Close your eyes. Giants suck. I'm out of here. There's an election in Massachusetts today. Democrat Martha Coakley versus Scott Brown, Republican, who has vowed to vote against Barack Obama's health care bill. And Republicans are excited. But why? Are they excited because they're this close to defeating an insufficient health care bill that is terribly wrong for the country? Or are they excited because they're beating the president? His ideology is inconsistent. He's ready to vote no on the national health care bill, yet he voted yes for the similar and somewhat functional system established in Massachusetts. In an epic upset, Scott Brown wins the Senate seat in Massachusetts. Well, a traditionally Democratic state has spoken, and uh, congratulations, guys. You elected a whore. So no doubt, health care reform will be derailed another 10 years. What else is new? What is another decade for millions of uninsured Americans? Everyone is entitled to their own vote. That's the great thing about being American. But another thing about being American is about working together. Togetherness and change. So think about that, Scott Brown. Until then, Scott Brown, you're still a whore.
The New York Jets and Rex Ryan are on a roll as Mark Sanchez and Sean Green, both rookies, provided touchdowns in the fourth quarter to provide San Diego yet another postseason pretfall. Since the merger, the San Diego Chargers have made 10 trips to the playoffs and four appearances in the AFC Championship game. They've never won the big game, though. Maybe that's why they're nicknamed the Super Chokers. I like San Diego. I like Phillip Rivers. I even picked the team to go all the way this year. So was it Pro Bowlers Nate Kading's three missed field goals? Was it the rust of a bye week? Or are the Jets really that good? But are they prepared for the white-hot Colts? We'll know this weekend. But for now, Chargers, business as usual. As for the Jets, they look good. But are they the real deal? Coming up next, I ask the tough question. Victim number three, and of course, the beatdown here on Brutal Honesty. Searching for the best DJ for your wedding, graduation, or birthday party? Look no further. Call Big Daddy DJ, the entertainment experts with 20 years experience. 203-559-8712. No event is too large or small. Big Daddy DJ gets your guest on the dance floor. From rock to hip hop, country to top 40, Big Daddy has the songs to match your musical taste and the rates to match your budget. Call Big Daddy DJ today, 203-559-8712 or log on to BigDaddyDJ.info. All right, now you ready for the tough question? What's up? Okay, can you name one song about Martin Luther King? Not at all. Like one song about Martin Luther King. One song about Martin Luther King. I can't, man. That's the tough question. Okay, what is Martin Luther King Day? Uh, do you do anything special on this day? Well, at least me, I just celebrate being uh, uh, a brown-skinned individual, honestly. Yeah. All right, are you ready for the tough question? Uh, no, but I'll take it. Okay, yeah. can you name one song about Martin Luther King? Yeah. Can you name one song about Martin Luther King? No. <laughs> uh, not at all. Uh, well, technically this is a song about Martin Luther King. Young Jeezy, my president, is black. He makes a reference to Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all the, the you know, uh, what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The Civil rights. Civil rights leaders. Thank you. Very good. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Can you name one song about Martin Luther King? Um, I don't know the name of the song. It's uh, it's actually mentions Martin Luther King and two other people. Um, fuck, what's the name of the song? I don't know the name. I don't know the name. Uh, Martin, John, and one other guy. It's John Kennedy, Martin King, and fuck, who's the, who's the third guy? Martin King. Abraham Lincoln. And Abe Lincoln, huh? Abraham, Martin, and John by yep. Dion. All right. Yeah. That makes me kind of sad. There really should be a lot more answers to that question. On a night, they honor Martin Scorsese. One of the all-time greatest, most creative, most influential directors of all time. They crowned two new best pictures. The Hangover for comedy and Avatar for drama. Now, let me just state here, I love both these movies. I think The Hangover was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. And Avatar was brilliant. A brilliant 3D movie. Commercially speaking, yes. Artistically speaking, I think not. Wake up, Hollywood Foreign Press. You're not the People's Choice Awards. It's time for your beatdown. Brought to you by the letter S. Scott Brown, Senator Slut. Chargers, suck. Jets, Super Bowl. Hangover, side-splitting slapstick. Avatar, sci-fi splendor. Golden Globes for both? That's some silly shit. A quick correction from last week. I mentioned Blagojevich was a senator. He was only a governor. And I forgot to thank Mikey for the kick-ass music. Final Curse theme music. If you have anything to add, comments, 
please send me your emails. Brutal.honestyrocketmail.com. See you next week.